Hey, I'm Grump. I'm not so Grump. And we're the Game Grumps. Do you remember the fucking uh, They're sacrilegious? <laughs> Do you remember the fucking like first magfest we did together and like the the John's cheese nips controversy? Oh yeah. Do you remember that shit? Oh shit. That was like like I mean I don't know. I never got upset at anyone for like being like, "Oh my god, things, you know, just conspiracy theories, all these crazy things." Uh -huh. But like none of which were ever correct. And like the uh the my but there were certain ones where that were just like super ridiculous, uh -huh. and that was my favorite one of all the ridiculous ones. Like, because someone apparently, someone apparently gave John some cheese nips at a panel that and he did. Hours. Yeah, that. And later we were at the same panel, and I just saw a box of cheese nips there, and I was like, "Oh, sweet cheese nips!" <laughs> and people were like, oh, blah, 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 blah. "Like everyone's going crazy," and I don't know why. But like, when you're up there, you can't. You can't make out what people are saying. Like, you can hear one voice, but when everyone's yelling at once, it just sounds like this garbled mess. Yeah. So, like, everybody's like, THOSE ARE JOHNS! And I'm like, what? Who? Like, what are you- <laughs> And so, like, I eat one, and people are like, OH MY GOD! <laughs> It's so ridiculous. <laughs> it's, it's so funny. Oh my god! Yeah, and then when I like, then then when I finally like heard what they what they were saying, the like after explodes. it calmed down, yeah, when it calmed down, I was like, oh, all right, I'll save him for him. And they were like, he's gonna save him later. <laughs> it's like it's fucking reading way too much into everything. <laughs> So bananas. What if it was like something like horrible and they were like just trying to tell you they were like yeah. There's syphilis in those cheeses! Those are all Kata's cheeses! <laughs> Should I eat them? They're like, yeah. No, they have syphilis! <laughs> <laughs> they're like, here I go, and they're yeah. like, why didn't he listen? Yeah. Fucking that's stupid. Did they just put a coin arrow on the arrow? <laughs> Look at this fucker. I'm, I'm, I'm popping Viking in three times a day, but this fucker. That's, that's what that was. I, yeah, thank you. I would like cheese nuts, yeah. Thank you very much. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Keep childhood alive. I agree. We should put more funding into child hospitals. Keep childhood alive! Well, it's been kind of freeform lately because, like, of all the like the, the events and shit we've been going to, so like, dude, they got cheese nips back here. Excuse me. <laughs> so I say like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> you do, you do okay? Or, am I not allowed to eat these? <laughs> Are these someone else's nips? <laughs> What was I saying? Oh, so Asians, am I right? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I just asked Aaron if I told the story on Grumps. Neither of us can remember. If I have, I apologize. I'll make it quick. Uh, my friend Brandon uh, is Chinese, uh, and though he's never played joke, he's never put that pee pee all up in my coat. That's fucked up, dude. Yeah, I know. You should call him out on that. I, I, he's, he's, I I'm not sure he's really Chinese. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> so like uh, I've I've been calling him Chinaman for many 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 years. Yeah, I know. Uh, without I've been there. Yeah, and I went. <gasps> yeah, yeah, exactly. Because <laughs> I forget it's like a slur to some people, but uh -huh. to us it's like a term of affection. To some people. Well, to many people. Uh, but you know, to us it's a term of endearment, and um, so the. The the time when that came the clearest into focus was when we were at uh, the New York Comic Convention maybe like two or three years ago, and like we got our tickets and he got his ticket first and he started to walk in and I needed him to hold up because I was still filling something out and I was like, "Yo, Chinaman!" and like fifty heads like flung around <laughs> and it was a very awkward moment and and Brandon was like, "It's okay, he's with me." <laughs> 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 oh, super nerd Hovan! He didn't he didn't bust out the the like 
Don't worry, he went mean. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Break out a tiny gong. No, he, yeah, he could have easily been like, what the fuck? And like, just gotten like 20 people to kick the shit out of me. <laughs> he absolutely could have done that. <laughs> Why didn't he? Nah, he's just a good dude. Nah, and I was his ride. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, more importantly. How about I tell you the story of how I went to a porn convention this past weekend? Please, I'm okay. dying to know, because okay. I really don't know what, what was happening with Well, that. there's a very lovely uh, Grumps fan um, named, I believe, Christina, or Christine. Shit, I have to look that up. Um, a lovely lovely, is it? Yeah, she's super chill and really nice, and she had heard on the show that um, I wanted... I always wanted to see an AVN award show, you know, like, how crazy would that be? She was like, you really want to go? Uh, like, because I can, you know, if you write something for a website, I can, I can make that happen. Nice. Oh, yeah. So anyway, she set it up and I'll write an article and it'll be cool. But like, so I went to the AVN Expo and it was really fucking cool. Uh, I met a ton of cool porn stars. Like, I didn't know what to expect because I, I just, um, all right, I'll be honest. I thought... Like, when I pictured a porn convention in my head, I pictured, like, super fucking creepy, like, Ugh. fans, you know? And, like, and porn stars that are just like, yeah, whatever, like, on their phones and, like, dismissing them, you know? Yeah. Um, and so, like, but it was the total fucking opposite. Like, the, the fans were so respectful, and they were like, I really appreciate what you do. And the porn stars, like... I mean, I can't speak for all of them, but the ones I met were so fucking chill and so nice to their fans, like, really considerate and really caring. Um, it was like an oddly moving experience, if you, if, if you can believe that. Wow. Yeah. Um, so... Well, I'm glad you had a good time and didn't invite me. <laughs> I, you, you were unavailable. Oh, yeah, sure. Um, but I went with Brent, who was like, huh? Ah? And that was the coolest part, because I never get to hang out with Brent. Like, just as, as friends. Um, uh, it was in Las Vegas, so I got to see my friend Nikki, and like, it was just, it was just a cool weekend, but like, uh, Brett Rossi, she's a porn star, uh, she is cool as fuck, and like, we were just talking about our Pomeranians and how goddamn cute they are, and I was telling her about Princess Tinkles. Um, and there was a, and some of them were Game Grumps fans. What? Yeah. Yeah, porn um, stars. Porn star. There's a porn Fuck star yeah. uh, named Alex Harper, and uh, wait, what? Do you know her? I'm pretty sure I've heard that name before. What hair color? When you picture her, I don't fucking know. Oh, okay. But blonde? She, no, she has like jet black hair. Oh. Um, but like, yeah, I, don't know. I feel uh, like I've heard that name before. Though. It's a very pornotastic name, you know. But yeah, uh, so, and and like. I went to the like award ceremony uh, with the red carpet because it was at the Hard Rock uh, hotel that we stayed at. Oh. It was fucking crazy. It was that's, crazy. That's really great, man. It I'm, was the I'm, coolest. I'm, I'm, I met Samantha Roan, who's so nice, and I was like, I'm, I am familiar with your work. <sighs> Do you have to get down there, God. or did all you need is the grapple berries? No, let me you, check look, the dumb you look ass spent. Through. Okay, let me check the fucking dumbass. Dumbass walkthrough. Oh, we're gonna pause real quick. I'm so glad you told that story on stage. <laughs> oh, uh, the the yeah, the one at uh, PAX. Yeah, yeah. Um, we've told it on the show. Yeah, big shout out love to the people who came to our PAX panel. That was yeah, that, that was, was wild. That was a great panel. Although it's a funny thing too, because I guess PAX, like it was, I don't want to say sold out, but like it was a packed panel. Like they weren't letting any more people in. But I guess like part of their rules are like they leave like the. 10 front rows open for like PAX people, you yeah. know, and industry folks, which is a very smart move, like they should do that, but they don't fill that space in if like industry people don't show. So like, it's the weirdest thing, like on the videos Ross put up on Instagram, like we're walking out on stage and you hear like these, <laughs> these screams and cheers, and then like he looks out into the audience and there's like just chairs. So it just looks like we fucking like, we sweetened the fucking, like, <laughs> background noise. Like, oh yeah, there were tons of people there. Wow, I didn't know that. They loved us. Was that on purpose? What do you mean? Like, the, the, the whole, like, 
looking like there was nobody there. And no, the Ross is just frame it that way. Ross is just brilliant. Oh, <laughs> sweet. Ross was like, I'll focus on the empty chairs instead of like the packed rows behind. <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> it's super funny. It's a, uh, it's I, classic O'Donovan. I didn't even notice that. It's probably because I. Uh, it's probably because I didn't. I I, I was. I, <laughs> I was in one of my moods before. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the panel. Right, right before Aaron goes on stage, he's like, you have your head in your hands, and, and like, a guy comes up to you, and he's like, <laughs> Hey, man, can I get you anything? <laughs> it, it, what'd you say? Uh, like, I'd like a high tree and yeah, a noose. A noose and a dramatic tree. <laughs> <laughs> and then the guy came over to me afterwards, and he was like, is Aaron, is Aaron okay? Like, and I was like, yeah, he, when he's like this, just leave him alone. He'll just give him some space. He'll be fine. <laughs> I just like to imagine what's going on in that guy's mind when like he, he experiences that. And then I go on stage and I'm like, woo, hey, everybody. <laughs> like, like, he's living a lie. <laughs> well, no, that's the funny thing. Cause like you, you, you force yourself to be like that for like three seconds and then you hear the crowd and you see them and you're like, oh, now yeah. you're, and I actually am energized. But like, yeah, that, that was, it was very funny to watch you to go through that. Oh, that's good stuff. You're pretty much my champion. You're my special dude. People, uh, people like to be like, oh man, Aaron's, he's, Oh man, he must be so depressed or something. I've, I've always been like that. Yeah, no, like I remember the years and years I've been like I've, I've I've been like oh man, I just I just I don't care. I just, I just whatever. Well, there are times like I, I hope this isn't like saying too much, but like I remember when we came back from a convention years ago. I won't say which one, but like you didn't get to enjoy yourself because it was just too crazy and you had too much businessy stuff to do and you were really upset and on the drive to the airport we're all in the car together and like you were like really quiet and like your eyes were like wide open and you were like <laughs> staring out at nothing and i was like dude you're all right and just like got no response whatsoever like not even like a blink you're just like somewhere else and i looked at Susie, and i was like is this is this all right and she was like he's totally fine just give him some time <laughs> and <laughs> And that was when we didn't know each other as well. And now, now I've become the he's totally fine. Don't even worry about it, guy. <laughs> oh, I love you, buddy. It's gonna be all right. Oh man. All right. So next question, which will probably take up the rest of our time, uh, is how did you guys meet, and why did you guys decide to make videos together? Um, I G guess gay bar. And <laughs> well, okay, I met you on Newgrounds, yeah, and when we were like 17, yeah, and we, we actually met in person in 2008, in 2008 at, at Anime, Anime, Expo. Anime Expo, yeah. And then I was coming back and forward every year, just kind of visiting for conventions and stuff and staying with you guys. Uh, yeah. I met Aaron when I was 13 at an anime convention. Mm. And Aaron was 16. And then I met Ross when I was 17. Well, that's not the whole story. You started talking oh, okay. to me. Okay, so I, the whole I was, story. I was yeah. trying to hook up a friend of mine with Susie. No I was, way. A, I was like yeah. a big time cosplayer in Florida at the time. Cosplay was different back then. And uh, uh, his friend had a crush on me, and Aaron was like, I'll help you like meet Susie. And then his friend got cold feet and, and just like bailed. Yeah, and he let me learn with Aaron. And I was like, Aaron, be part of my cosplay group. I need someone to hold up this sign. Uh, and then I became really good friends with Aaron, and we've been together ever since. Yay. Yay. Um, That's crazy. Yeah, so we've been together for 12 years now, I'm married for two. Um, almost 13 years now, actually. And then when I was 17, I went with Aaron to Anime Expo after I graduated from high school, and I met Ross. Were you really 17 then? Yeah. No, you weren't. Yeah. Wait, because you were 20. Oh my god, you were. Yeah. Sometimes Aaron's three years older than me, sometimes he's two years older than me, depending That's, on the time of the year. Wow, yeah. you were. So, depending yeah. on time portals and wormholes. And when I first met Ross, uh, he... I gave you a koala. Uh, yeah, I, I had talked to Ross on Skype before, I but... I lied to you about some stuff. Yeah, Ross tried to, like, lie to me that people in Australia didn't have cars and TVs and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> I didn't fall for it. I also but, uh, told the drop bear thing that I bullshitted to oh, you. Yeah. yeah. Drop bear? Drop bears. We that's, playing, uh, that's for another video. Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. But, but Ross gave me a koala when I met him for the first time. It, it was it wasn't a real one. It was, it was a like plush a, a plush koala. koala. It was really sweet. And mm. then uh, he was never sweet ever again. Yeah. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I had a friend yeah. who um, I used to go to a lot of cons before I 
b before like I got uh, like recognized a whole lot of cons. Uh huh. Um, Care. I was I was a con goer. No. Fuck. Okay. Uh, and I had a friend who, who I I would always run into at cons, and he was sort of like the aloof like con goer guy. And I was like, oh man, I, can, I hope I see this guy. And then I always did. And he always said that he 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 would drop a deuce at a con. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh my god, that's amazing because <laughs> it's I, I not amazing. No, because I thought. My first inclination, and I don't know why it was, was that he would just, like, get into a corner and just, like, shit somewhere. Oh. But then I found out, like, three years after I had been, like, <laughs> so entranced by this concept, <laughs> that, it, no, he just goes into a bathroom and yeah. takes his shit. Yeah, that's what I would have assumed he meant. Well, it's because, like, why is that special? I think that's why... It's not special, he was a like, socially oh, awkward person. It's, it's a tradition to... To rip a deuce every time. Fuck! <laughs> it's a tradition to d drop a deuce every time I come to a con, and it's like, well, yeah, it's a tradition for me too because I poop frequently. Right, right. So, <laughs> what the fuck? That's not a tradition. That's just a thing. Yeah, it's just pooping. So I was like, I was heartbroken. <laughs> heartbroken, Aaron. I was so upset. So far, you've used it, the two adjectives you've used to describe this story are heartbroken and amazing. <laughs> You, uh, you might have fairly different views of what those words mean no, than I do. No, dude, come on, man. D I mean, okay, if somebody- if- if somebody legit came- fuck. <laughs> if somebody came to you and said, I- every time I go to a con, right. I find a corner, and I just shit on the floor, mm -hmm. you would not be entranced, you would not be like, whoa! Really? That's crazy! No, oh, it is. Hello again, Dumai. Do <laughs> He's just- <laughs> <laughs> Dumai's like that guy. Oh, forgive me if this gets too real. Dumai's like the guy at like a convention who like y you meet and he just hangs out with you way too long, and you're like, cool, gotta go, gotta go back to the hotel room or gotta go eat lunch, and he's like, great, I'll join you. <laughs> Where's your hotel room? Yeah, I'd like to go there with you. What's the room number? <laughs> What's the room number? I'll meet you there. Yeah. I'll- I'll bring things. Such as? My doom eye. Yes. That I used to see. Yeah. I did see, um, I was at uh, a convention fairly recently, like, and I saw someone dressed, like, it was one of those gigantic, insane cosplay things. It, he was just a huge metal spider. And, like, it was one of those costumes that's so insane that, like, the person can't move. Oh, and yeah. They're, like, just, like, a- an art installation that they've attached themselves to. <laughs> and, and like, you see them, like, near the door, like, so everyone can see them, and, like, you're like, that's an amazing costume, man, great job. And they're like, thanks. I'm like, you should fucking go into the, you could, should go into the main room and really show that off. And he's like, I, I can't, I can't. Bring, <laughs> please, please bring me Burger King. I'm so very hungry. <laughs> I haven't eaten for days. <laughs> I haven't pooed for weeks. <laughs> You That's unrelated, I mean, <laughs> I've been it for days, I just, I didn't poop for a couple weeks before I, just, I, I just, got into I it. I just ate a lot of cheese randomly and I'm very blocked. <laughs> have you ever, um, do you cosplay at all? Or have you ever cosplayed? I did, I cosplayed Snake once. Oh, sweet. It was fun. It was, um, it's, it's cool because, like, I like meeting fans, like, a lot. Yeah. But, like, there's always, like, the creepy weird one that, like, won't go away. There's always one. Yeah, and, and, like, and, like, nobody wants to deal with that. Like, no fucking... Not even the other fans. <laughs> like, you, you, the cool fans are always like, oh, this fucking guy. <laughs> yeah. Giving us all a bad name. But there was this one guy, like, just like... <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, 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 <laughs> like... So, so when I, when I was just a snake, it was like the perfect opportunity to just be like, Oh no, I've been seen! And then I just run away, and he was like, he was, and he was like, <laughs> And just didn't fall. Because oh, <laughs> he was like too lazy. Yeah, yeah, you you ran too fast, which was to say <laughs> faster than three miles an hour. <laughs> so That's that, awesome. Yeah, that was nice about it, but yeah, yeah, it was fun. Yeah. Was, I, I love, see, when I, whenever I said I was going to cosplay, I uh -huh. said I would be in character the whole time, and right. I totally was, and like, it made it so much better. It, it, it's, it's super fun, and like, um, next next convention we go to, we should fucking, we should do it up. All right. Although, I'm gonna need you to be a character from Cowboy Bebop because you know my cosplay history. <laughs> Spike Spiegel and uh, uh, yeah. uh Scraggly Jew. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have only uh, for those of who don't know, which I guess is everybody. Uh, I I've cosplayed like ten times in my life, but it's always been a Spike from Cowboy Bebop because I'm oh, 
fucking lazy. Oh no! I'm, I'm always Spike Spiegel from fucking Cowboy Bebop because I'm the laziest cosplayer in the world. It's like, uh, because I'm, I'm a tall, skinny, white guy with fucking froey hair. So it's like, <laughs> throw on that blue jacket and yellow shirt. You got yourself a costume. <laughs> you got yourself a Spiegel. Did I? I showed you like some of the pictures, right? You got yourself 700 glomps. <laughs> <laughs> Barry, would you throw up a, a picture of me as Spike? There it is. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. <sighs> can I touch it? Can mm, I touch it? You can. Mm. Mm, there it is. There it is. That girl is Teresa. Uh, she goes under the name Fire Lily. <laughs> I love how you know exactly what picture it is. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Oh, I know. I know <laughs> the one. Like, all my experience with Japanese musicians, like, you know, is it time? Is it time to tell the fucking Lark NCL story? Oh, man. Let's do yes, it. Yes, please. One of my all-time favorite moments since I got into, like, anime and all things nerdy, which is more or less since the beginning of my life, um, was uh, I went to Otakon uh, in 2004, I think, and this band called Lark on CL was... Um, they were there, and... Uh, they they did the um, music for Full Metal Alchemist. That's right, yeah, yeah. yeah. And that's what Red Static Helm Bag. Yeah. <laughs> they they did music for a lot of shit. Um What was it? I don't know. They did a bunch of theme songs for Amine. Yeah, li lots of different cool anime things. They did some Naruto. Yeah, yeah, ones. yeah. And um so like <laughs> they came and did a show which was incredibly rare. So uh in America rather. And everyone freaked the fuck out, and they sold out the ba uh, Baltimore Convention Center, and it was like a big, it was a big party, it was awesome, and they were into it. And I guess the lead singer, sweet, here we are, I guess the lead singer was like, he had made the effort to like learn a little bit of English uh, before he came to, uh, to perform here, which was a super nice gesture, but hilarious because like, his accent was very strong. <laughs> and uh, so he wanted to like get the crowd charged up, so he tried to do the the "Are you having fun?" thing, like. But it came out, "Are you having fun?" <laughs> Me too. <laughs> and Me too. Me <laughs> too. <laughs> and then like because it was Baltimore, and like everyone eats crab there, that's like Baltimore's main dish. He tried to make a reference to that, and he was like, "Do you eat the crab?" <laughs> Me too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and man. then the next thing he yelled was like something about Baltimore, but it was so unintelligible. It was like, Ariana Baltimore, Soto Ishiwa! Ah! <laughs> Soto Ishiwa! <laughs> <laughs> it was amazing. Use, so, your, use your ranks, dude. My what? Your ranks. Oh, yeah. You can kill him in one hit. That's right. Um, good call, bruh. Um, and diagonal. Yeah. And uh, so he, Aaron found the, I guess, the Lark it's, on CL. It's on DVD. Yeah, it's on DVD. Live, that, in, live in Baltimore. That actual performance. So we are going to watch it, and we will get back to you and see if we can find footage, if they left it in, of him talking between songs and yelling, Me too. Uh, me too. Uh, me too. <laughs> Do you like a crab? <laughs> and you can, you can rest easy knowing that on that DVD, Dan is in the audience. Oh, man. I sure was. Losing my friggin' mind. Because I believe I was drunk at the time and laughing uncontrolled. <laughs> <laughs> like you were drunk and it like warped him, but like you, you watch the DVD now and he's like, Are you guys having Are fun? Are you having a good time? And everyone's like, Woo! And he's like, Yes, me too. M me too. I'm also having a good time. Yay. But in your mind, he's fucking. Hurrah! Ruka 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 That was a fun time. You can only kill the dark nuts. Aliens and Willow, we're doing it. <laughs> it's a fucking combo platter uh, tonight. Go, go back down. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, but first we gotta watch the fucking Larkin CL. Oh, yeah. Me too. Uh, me too. <laughs> Are you having fun? Uh, me too. <laughs> <laughs> me too. <laughs> that was part... <coughs> Excuse me. That's what part of, uh, part of what made it great. The fact that each of his me too were at like a higher, more intense clip. So it was like, me too, followed by <laughs> me too, culminating in me too. <laughs> I'm, I'm having fun. I'm having fun. Me too. Woo! Nice work. Yeah. Oh, man, you used what I taught you. Yeah, I learned. I learned the ways of lessons of the crabs! <laughs> and the grasshopper! Oh man, 
Uh, get the crubs, I, dude. I, I, I'm trying to turn around. Get I'm the not... crubs. How else are you going to make California rolls? <laughs> Do you eat the crabs? <laughs> A mitt. Crabs? Crabs? <laughs> crabs? <laughs> <laughs> and, and like everyone's screaming like, yeah! <laughs> crabs! <laughs> What a surreal situation that concert was. <laughs> Just over and over. That was my favorite. Craft! <laughs> Craft! <laughs> and everyone's like, play! Play Uchi Kuchi Walking Down! Craft! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got the fiddler crabs now, son. Uh, me too. Me too. You eat the crabs! Me too. Oh, get God, the green, I, get the green craft. I'm sorry, can I? Yeah, you can get the green craft. There you go. Craft! Craft! Oh, nice Kraft. work! Nice work! <laughs> nice work. I wonder if people are getting tired of me saying craft! <laughs> no, why would they ever? Dude, if 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 you don't know what we're talking about, look up Lark on CL. Live in Ontario. Live in, no, it's live in Baltimore, 2004. 2010, no reason. It's my favorite fucking concert. No reason. Of all time. Did you eat crabs? Did you eat crabs? Crab! I ate two! Someone, uh, came out with an article today, like the 40 worst Rob Liefeld, or Liefeld, uh, comic book drawings. Yeah. Um, you're familiar with him, yeah? Yes, of course. Yeah. He created Deadpool. Yes, he did! And Cable. Which are, you know, obviously his good moments, but he had plenty of terrible ones. And, like, he really is not such a good comic artist. And, uh, he was a total douche to one of my friends when we were kids. At a convention. Really? Yeah. Oh, his douchebaggery is well documented. So, again, like reading an article that but just trashes him for pages and pages. <laughs> and like just panel after panel is really enjoyable. Wow. Yeah. Well then. Well, next time on Game Rooms, <laughs> we'll <laughs> shit on more strange targets. Oh, sweet. Who's next? I don't know. Britney Rears? It could be. <laughs> the, the porn star <laughs> the that porn looks kind of like Britney Spears. Is that real? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god, I'm looking up Britney Rears right now. <laughs> that is too fucking funny. Yeah, next time on Game Next time on Game Rooms. Dan will have been educated. Someone <laughs> please draw a uh, fan art of Britney Spears holding a f no, Britney Rears holding a flanged mace. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean like, I certainly fucking appreciate it a lot more when people come up to me and they're just like, hey man, I like what you do. Yeah. As opposed to like, you are a god! Yeah, I'm like, yeah, yeah. I'm not, I'm just a guy. Yeah, when they're just like, Hey man, uh, I know you're busy. Just don't want to take up your time. Just want to tell you I like your stuff. Yeah. And they're like, all right, take it easy. That man. is all yeah. we want to hear. That, that is, is so nice to hear. It's that, so appreciated. Ugh. You're dead. Yeah, that fucking brightens my day. Yeah, it's super. We'll nice. we'll be talking about you for like the next an hour about how cool you were. Yeah. Like that guy, just wow. But if you really knows how to do it. Yeah. But if you come up to me and you're just like, ah, can I touch your face? I just want to be close to your face. <laughs> like that shit's weird. I remember there was this one guy. I was I was at a. Ah, not my best effort. <laughs> I apologize. Um, okay. Okay. I was at a con. Right. I was behind the booth. Okay. And like you know, meeting people all day, and there's all kinds of people that you meet, but. Right. There's this one guy who just, who could only talk to me in quotes. Oh boy. And like, it, it, it was the first time that I was like completely speechless. Because <laughs> it was so weird? Yeah, because like, I've gotten used to talking to people if they don't know what to say and if they're nervous or right. whatever. So I'm just like, yeah, you know, uh, cool shirt, you know, whatever, but like, this guy was just like, <laughs> yo, blat blat that shit. And I was like, yeah, man. <laughs> so, so man, like, how's the con going? And he's like, <laughs> go, go, go sneak that. Um, but, uh, all right. uh, my fucking lips! And I was like, <laughs> yeah, man! Yeah, <laughs> fucking lips! Ha <laughs> ha! And he's like, uh, <laughs> yeah, fu fucking lips! <laughs> I was like, dude, I have no idea what to say to you, man! <laughs> yeah, you're weirding me out! <laughs> So yeah, that yeah. Because I, usually, if they if they if they're like quoting a thing, then that means they want you to say it, and then they're like, yeah. But like, I did it, and then he right. was just still like, let's keep going with this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, but, it was it was very strange. Plus, I have social anxieties. So, do you like, really? Yeah. So like, all of a sudden, people like want to talk to me, and I'm like, I don't, I don't know <laughs> that's, how. <laughs> that's interesting. So, right, would you would you consider yourself like an introvert? Shit. Yes, absolutely. Really? Very much so. See, that's- I'm the opposite. Yeah, I, I just can't do it, I don't know. 
So let ah, oh, let it. that be a lesson to all you out there. Chicken. If you see me and Aaron at a con, assault me first <laughs> and create a buffer, and then you can approach Aaron. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm I, just I've, kidding. I've, I've I've gotten very good at being able to like talk to people in a con setting. Right. Because there's there's a there's a lot you can talk about, and there's a lot you can assume that you have in common with them. Right. Um, but like, if I'm at like a party or something, like, I, I'm, I'm just fucking, like, <sighs> Wow. I am a wallflower to the extreme. That's so interesting, dude. It's like, I don't know what to say to these people. I just, yeah. So you know Jarnst. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know Jarnst. Jarnst. <laughs> He's who threw this party, yes. <laughs> so that's, you know Jarnst. That's the only Oh, this thing is bad. This is bad! <laughs> Fuck! There are specific kind of people that can have a beard. Yeah, you have to power through it. And, and mine I'm never willing to. Mine is out of necessity for two reasons. One, I don't have a chin. You have a beautiful chin. And well, thank you so much. That's so nice of you to say, but I don't believe you, and you're a liar. Okay. Number two, I have a scar on my lip that I have to cover up with my mustache. Do you really? Yes. When did this happen? When I barfed at Magfest. <laughs> Maybe someday I'll show you my you, scar. You, you barfed yourself a, uh, like you barfed yourself and your face exploded. It's it's the time that I slammed my face on the toilet when oh, I was barfing. Oh no, I don't remember. That must have been a violent barf. It was well, the toilet seat like fell back down oh, as I was like no. like pushing my face forward to projectile vomit. Into oh, the toilet. Aaron. And it was and it was barfing blood and you poor gross. sweet angel. Ninja Brian uh, got sick at Magfest. And has had a recurring like terrible virus every like couple of months since then. What? And, yeah, and thinks it's like some sort of like horrible magfest thing that's never going away. Holy shit! Yeah. So uh, I don't know. Maybe we shouldn't go to magfest this year. I mean, for maybe the, find a new convention. Yeah, for the sole reason of that, like, okay, we die every time we go. Yeah. It, it for some reason, it's it's pretty consistent every year, at least. Like three of us have gotten sick. Yeah, um, with like really serious maladies too. And uh, it's just kind of like I don't know if we can afford <laughs> to get sick again. Yeah. You know, I, I like. Don't get us wrong, Magfest goers. We fucking love you, and uh, the panels are awesome, and the signings are the it's best. It's a and fun place to be. Yeah, yeah, it's super rad. But my God, like, someone's gonna die. Oh God. Oh, what the fuck is going. This on? is probably fine, right? Cutscenes are good. Beautycon. Yeah. Beauty con? Yeah, it's a convention for makeup and, and oh yeah, Susie lifestyle went to that. products. Yes. D didn't you go with her? No. Oh okay. I took her there. Oh that's. But I hung out outside and cried. Yeah. It and doesn't then seem when like she came thing. out, I tried to. I was like, <laughs> and I like I like wiped it away and tried to like like pad my eyes so they didn't look puffy. <laughs> why were you crying? But they still looked puffy. Do you know why? Why were you crying? Because I couldn't go in. Oh, you couldn't. You weren't allowed to go into BeautyCon. It was in the. It was held in the same building that uh, TF. No, uh, BotCon was held at, which is a Transformers con. Oh. And so. Do I they really... have a convention for convicted felons called ConCon? Con? <laughs> so it's like, yeah. Okay. Okay. I should have gone like... the Star Wars two route, ConCon, Con, but like. Con. Oh, yeah. you mean Star Trek two? Yeah. Oh, did I say Star Wars? You did. Oh, embarrassing. You yeah, you're gonna get comments up the wazoo. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I- I love them both. I Dear. never understood that, like, you have to choose one or the other. Wait, did you- oh, oh man, I don't think I ever told that story on Game Grumps. What's that? We were flying- I don't remember, it was like... We were flying to Magfest or, like, somewhere, but... <laughs> We were going there like as Starbomb, and we were gonna make an appearance as Starbomb, and and then like I was on the I was on the plane, and I was just making like horrible raps. <laughs> I was like, "Yo, yo, these the, the people gotta move. Yo, yo, let's get out of here." Or some shit like that. And then this guy was like, who was clearly also going to Magfest, was like, "Uh, wow, man, you're a great rapper. You should <laughs> you should do some you should do some raps professionally, like sarcastically." Yeah. Oh, that was it. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. <laughs> and I was like, "Thanks, man. Maybe I will." Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah, the fucking signing at MAGFest. Like, we did our Game Grumps panel, and then we had to do a signing. And before the panel, Aaron was like, I feel like dog shit garbage. <laughs> and and uh, I kept looking over during the panel and being like, wow, he's really, he's really fucked up. <laughs> and, then, and then after the panel was over, 
like, you stood up and we were standing backstage and you kind of like waddled over to me. <laughs> And you were like, dude, I'm, I need to sit down, I need water, I need, I need all the things that a person who is not well needs. And I was like, you, you were like, I don't think I can do the signing, I feel terrible. And I was like, dude, don't do it. Like, I mean, these people care about you, like, they don't, they don't, they don't want you to, like, sacrifice their health, or your health, rather. And possibly their health by spreading disease, you fucking disgusting monster. Well, I just didn't want to get anybody sick. That was my biggest thing. Right. But then you were like, no, no, I'll, I'll be disappointing people. So, so you were like, I'll just go until I can't go anymore. And then sure enough, like the signing was like hours. <coughs> and at the end of the hours, plural, I looked over and there you were. Head down in your arms. <laughs> greasy hair splayed all about. <laughs> Oh, yeah. You're a champion, dude. That was, that, was a, that was a fun day. I was really proud of you. And then I went back and into my, my bathless room. I was like, man, I could use a bath. And then it was it was like the only hotel room I've ever been in that didn't have like a shower bath combo. It was just a stand shower. <laughs> and I was like, oh. <laughs> oh. So, that was good times. Poor guy. I, I was in a room with Ninja Brian. And, uh, and another dude, uh, and they both snore. Wow. It was like a snoring volleyball tournament, and, uh, I, I actually recorded Ninja Brian snoring. Really? Yeah. Do I have it? I think I just put it on my computer. <laughs> I think I deleted it from my phone. I don't really want to see that. It's, it's all audio, because it was too dark. Oh. Uh -huh. But, like, because I was like, it's so... I mean, like, I'm mad, and I'm gonna give Ninja Brian shit about this when he wakes up, but, like, at the same time, I didn't want to, uh... Like, it's such a dick move to be mad at someone for snoring, because they can't help it. Yeah. And also, they don't know, you know? So I was like, I'll at least just, like, record it, um, so he can at least feel bad <laughs> in that respect. <laughs> okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. <laughs> I fucking went in for a deep hug. You did. <laughs> That's not what it's called. <laughs> they should just call this Glomp Fest. No, it's not. And all the and all the anime oh, con dear. girls would be like, "This is my favorite game because yeah. all you get to do is glomp guys." Yeah. When they've got the ball that you want. Glomping concerned me the first time it happened to me at a convention. Oh, you should be concerned. Whoa! With oh, you son of a bitch! <laughs> Half of my fucking T-shirts are fan sent. Oh, that's true. I really love it. Fan sent. That sounds like a like a. Like a mythical bloodline. Mm -hmm. I'm fan sent. <laughs> oh, I have to grab him out of his thing. There's actually a lot of that at Magfest. Fan sent. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Be sure to shower before you come to a con, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> That's important. And after you've been at the con for a couple days. Yeah. In That's fact, just keep important. showering every day. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But Here's but, but okay. Here's where the story gets fun. So we're we're headed back home, but I'm still sick, right? Mm. We get on our plane. Fucking uh, American Airlines, everyone's favorite airline. We get on it, and they're like, oh, well, so we're about to head off here to uh, wonderful Los Angeles Airport, uh, LAX. But uh, what problem? Our software is just not fucking working. And I'm like, what fucking software? What are you? The plane runs a fucking TI-83 calculator processor. <laughs> what kind of fucking software you gotta reset? Nonetheless, they try to reset the software. Turns out our flight's canceled. Uh, we have to. Well, like four hours later. Yeah, like four hours into it, they're like, sit around. Yeah, they're like, oh, this is your captain speaking. Actually, turns out, oh, you gotta get out the fuck off this plane. <laughs> meanwhile, yeah, meanwhile, I'm on the floor writhing. Yeah, Aaron, halfway through, like, sitting on the flight, like, ooh, my stomach's not so good after eating a fucking Auntie Anne's hot dig. A hot dog covered in pretzel. Yeah, a hot dog covered in pretzel. That's a really important part. E eating it and it was just, it was just. Yeah. So, so am I a p what? Yeah, you're rouge. What? You're rouge. She just like knuckles. Yeah. Except what she throws. What the fuck? Uh, she throws eyeballs. Ovulation. <laughs> Ew. Ugh, yeah, that's she, pretty gross. She ovulates. Nonetheless, uh, so Aaron, Aaron got really fucking sick. Uh, I mean, like the sickest I've ever motherfucking seen this guy. He's just like all of a sudden he goes from it goes from just like jokey joke 
to fucking like, I need to see the fucking EMTs. So we call fucking like ambulance and they come and they're like, you're gonna be fine, you just need to drink water. And then like Aaron just constantly being like, oh, I gotta go to the bathroom. And he like goes and like throws up and no, shit. No, 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 okay, okay. This is what happened. I, I go, I, I, I talk to the EMTs, they're like, what are you feeling? I'm like, I feel sick. I feel like I have food poisoning or something. I've had food poisoning before. And so they're, they're, I was like, should I go to the hospital? And they're like, I don't know about the hospital. And I was like, okay. And they were like, let me check your blood pressure. I was like, okay. And they checked my blood pressure, and I was like, it's fine. And they were like, stand up. Let me check your blood pressure. I was like, okay. And, blood I, blood? and I, I, I fuck, they take my blood pressure, and then they immediately take the thing off, and I like put my hand on her shoulder, and I was like, I'm gonna go throw up now. <laughs> and he was like, oh, good. And then I went in there, and I fucking vomited, and apparently people were coming out, and they were like, Who's a dude fucking throwing up in there? Oh, yeah, yeah! They, they, they're like, are you here for that guy? Because that guy's fucking throwing up in there, yeah. <laughs> and, then, and then, uh, but he did not say fucking. I made that up. Yeah, so, so, EMT guy came in, and he was like, how are you? And I was like, ah! So I felt fine for a while, and then suddenly... Suddenly... What? Like, after, like, 30 minutes of, like, feeling fine, it was just kind of like... My body was like, hey, Aaron! Yeah, yeah! And I was like, huh? And I was like... You're not feeling fine, dude! Yeah, yeah. All of a sudden, like, it went from fun and games, like, it was like, we were all just kind of, haha, it's frustrating, the flight's canceled, we gotta go back to, we gotta go to a hotel for a night, it was already kind of that. Aaron starts fucking, like, violently shaking, and we're like, oh, Aaron, are you alright? And I just take a fucking look at you, and you have, like, five jackets on, your eyes are all watering, and you're like, it's just so cold! <laughs> it was like, I was like, oh, we in for a night! And then all of us are fucking scared of catching whatever disease Aaron's got. And then fucking like, he goes up to- Okay, this part, this is a very intimate part of the story, but I have to tell because it's one of the fucking funniest, disgustingly what? sad moments I've ever seen. What, clear a path? With you. Yeah, but wait. Okay. So like, you, you asked us to go get you a bunch of Powerade and shit and water. Uh, I went with, uh, Brandon. Oh, it was a joy. Okay, let, let me just say, what? I didn't just ask them to get me a Powerade, I was in bed wearing five jackets in like fucking 85 degrees air conditioning pause this. and shivering. Are you fucking implying that you- well, of course you were too sick to get it! It's not like you're being a douchebag, what? I would've asked you for fucking seven Powerades! Okay. <coughs> Just want to make that clear. Whoa, did you? What do you think I was implying? But I was very sick at that point. Yeah, you were. Sick I wasn't implying. I don't think you were implying anything. I just wanted to be clear about it. You were it. sick as fuck. You couldn't have gotten out of that bed. So we got you some. Pa we wanted Susie to stay with you. So we got you a bunch of Powerade or whatever, and uh, we came up there, and you were, and we had like some chips because that's all we could fucking find at that point of the night. And then you were, <laughs> we, were we were just like, Aaron, do you want pretzels or sun chips? And you're just like, I just want to make sure that. I don't fuck anything up. <laughs> you said some like delirious ass shit. And you're like, which has less salt? I just want to make sure I'm making the right choice. You were just like talking like that, and we're like, okay, Aaron, we're gonna leave the sun chips here because they have less salt. Whatever that means. Well, because I didn't want to dehydrate. I don't know. You were just delirious. So then, so then, uh, you suddenly go, everyone. Please clear a path. <laughs> I'm like, oh shit! So we all move. You got. No, you, 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 right you fucking just like stepped back awkwardly. Like, is this what he means? Yeah. And, and then you get out of your bed, run to the toilet. We hear, <laughs> ow! <laughs> <laughs> you fell and hit your face on the toilet. No, 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 no. That's not what happened. What That's happened? not what happened. You were bleeding I, everywhere. Uh, it, what happened was. I went to the bathroom and the seat was down. Yeah. So I, I I went down to you know in the vomit position, and and I put the seat up and I started vomiting, but the the seat fell back down onto my face oh, as I was pushing my face forward to oh. to vomit. So while I was vomiting, it went boom right into my fucking nose. And it just like sliced my cleft open and yeah. blood went everywhere. Yeah, blood was like everywhere. And then so we went back out to get you a first aid kit. And apparently this you weren't the only one bleeding in the hotel at that point. Because they called an ambulance for someone else. They thought that when I asked them, they're like, we already called an ambulance. We're like, what are you talking about? Oh boy. What? Yeah, I you didn't were know not about the only part. person profusely bleeding in that hotel. Oh my god. Well, yeah, yeah, it was it sucked too because it was like it was like Blood right above my lip, so it was like dripping down, and so whatever I like vomited, like blood went oh. just fucking everywhere. Oh, it was like God. on the floor, and, like the walls, and the toilet, and like and like after I was like done yeah. throwing up, I was like, okay, yeah. like fucking Cinderella, like, cleaning up the blood, like <laughs> yeah, you were because I, I didn't want it's a it, car because of oh nice, that's an armored buggy. What the fuck? 
because if, if if Susie came in and saw fucking blood everywhere, she'd be like, "Oh my god!" So yeah. I was like, "I just don't want her to freak out." Yeah, and I don't know. How do you go in this thing? Oh, there you go. Oh, you have to uh, you have to hit the pedal with your foot. Okay, shut off. What? So what is this? What the fuck? Okay. All right, I know we're telling a story, but this is I, wh what? How? What? Oh, uh, you drive. You just drive. No, seriously, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Nonetheless, I was- I just wanna say, I, I was still sick during all that, so that was one of the worst days of my fucking life. Yeah, I had to stay an extra two days while I got better. Yeah, yeah, you couldn't- you had to stay in Maryland for an extra two days. Anyways, next time on Game Grumps, we're gonna play the game for real. Or, or are we? I don't fucking know, look at this bullshit book. Oh, Jesus. Watch oh, out, watch 